Well, I, I felt I was part of the freedom struggle of black people. I was part of the ongoing struggle of the black community to establish itself, to uh, obtain self-determination, to obtain dignity, and to obtain liberation. We are the original Wakanda children. The idea that we could bring the greatest musicians in the world to the East and that they would perform in bedford Cyberson uh, right here was something that was unique. Nation building, of course, has to be built on institutions. Then we had our food store. Kanunawana Food Cooperative. Black News newspaper. Out of Black News, there became a, uh, a publishing company called East Publishers. Mavazi Clothing Shop. East Records. We had a bookstore. The bookstore was called Akiba M. Koo. East Kitchen and Caterers. Sweet East Restaurant. Imani Child Development Center. Evening School of Knowledge. The International African Arts Festival. The East was filled with youthful exuberance. All the young people were basically very, very gung-ho. For me, I could say I was almost born again as a Black man at the East. It was about building that self-esteem in us to be who we are as an African people and know that we have a right to be here. And so was it able to, you know, bring us to the promised land? No, of course not. Did it take us a few steps toward that and our liberation? Hell yes. Yeah.